Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Martinez. I'm going to demonstrate you in this video how to use BitLocker Utilities 3.0. You can go to bitlockerutility.net to find uh, this useful tool that I have uh, developed using PowerShell and uh, Microsoft ADK. You will be able to integrate um, these two in your Pixieboot environment. Also, you will be able to create a bootable USB if you go to the uh, github repo you can read the documentation of all the features of this tool if you click on release you will be able to find the ISO file and the win image okay let's go and start with the demonstration on how to use BitLocker Utility 3.0 this demo uh, we are using a virtual machine running Windows 10 that is uh, BitLocker encrypted in your case you may uh, need to create a bootable USB using the ISO file that you will be able to find and the release tab and the github repo we are going to boot from the ISO file and this demonstration to decrypt uh, the hard drive on, on the virtual machine uh, when the BitLocker utilities load you will find uh, four uh, different options the first option is allows you to, to see all the drives encrypted and not encrypted and some additional information they will help you to identify the correct drive that you are attempting to unlock the option 2 uh, will allow you to unlock the BitLocker drive as you can see this nice output indicating you how to input uh, the recovery key password and also it provides the recovery key ID they will help you to identify the recovery key password that you may have a storage in your Active Directory or your Microsoft accounts or you may have it storage in a text file depending how you have set up your environment after we have entered the recovery key password we will be able to unlock the drive if the key is correct as you can see the hard drive has been successfully unlocked now that the hard drive is unlocked we're going to use the option 3 to turn it off BitLocker which means we are going to decrypt the drive also we can suspend BitLocker we select the drive then we select option 1 and as you can see the decryption process just started this process it will take a while depending on the hard drive side I'm going to speed it up the video and I will be back with you when the process is completed just as a reminder you must have the recovery key password in order to unlock the drive encrypted you can see the process is almost complete and when the process is completed you will see a nice output indicating you that the hardware has been successfully decrypted Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.